Hey everybody, Ryan Balaji here. Over the years, you've watched my videos on this channel, on YouTube, other places, and you've probably seen me do reviews, and many of you have wondered why I have such a boring looking office, why there's nothing on the walls, why there's hardly anything to speak of in terms of decoration. And with COVID, I had some time on my hands, and I finally took all of the cool things that I've amassed over the years that I've wanted to hang up, posters, flags, other things, from my experiences in the game over the years, and finally got it all together. Went to a Michaels, got a whole bunch of stuff, and I wanted to show off some of it to you. Not necessarily just to show you some of the things that I prize that I've been able to collect in the game, but also how you can do it yourself and really transform your office. So hopefully, this will be a great guide that takes some of the cool things that you've amassed over the years of playing golf and turn them into decorations that you can use around your house. So let's check it out. So let's start over here near my office in the corner where my desk is, where I usually shoot videos. Uh, this is a great, great poster print from Lee Wybranski, who does all of the poster prints these days for a lot of majors, but he does them for the USGA events, does them for the US Open, and this is a signed print from him. I actually met him for the first time at Shinnecock Hills a couple of years ago, and I had this thing, this beautiful poster, this beautiful print, sitting in a roll under my desk for the day that I was gonna film it, I actually got this frame from Michaels on a sale. It was under $20. Everything that we did here, all the framing and stuff, under $200. So you're gonna see a lot of pieces here, all combined $200 to frame it all. Really good deal if you know what you're looking for. The other thing that we have here is three scorecards from some of my favorite rounds over the, the recent years. So this is a scorecard from with myself and my partner, Mitch Lawrence. We played with Dame Laura Davies at Pine Needles for the U.S. Women's Open Media Day. We got selected to play with her. We had a great time, so scorecard from that round. Uh, this is a scorecard from my best round ever that's not at my home club. This is from Tobacco Road in North Carolina. One of my favorite golf courses of Mike Strantz design in the Pinehurst area. You would love to play it uh, if you kind of feel the same way I do about golf. And then this is from my round a couple of years ago relating to Shinnecock Hills. Got the, the good fortune to play Shinnecock Hills in U.S. Open Media Day. Uh, had a great day there with some good friends and uh, tried to do my best on a really challenging golf course. So we had a great time playing that day. And so I've found these frames where the, it's clear. There's a backing to it, which is also translucent. But you pull off the sides, you slide in what you want to feature uh, in the slide, then put it back together and hook it up. It's like a $5 frame, really cheap and easy cool way to show off some scorecards from places that you've been. So right on the other side of the corner, on this side of the desk, I have three things on this side. First, a signed flag from the 2015 PGA Championship, Whistling Straits. I was fortunate enough to go there with uh, some friends from Mercedes-Benz and had an experience to spend some time with Ricky Fowler and actually drive his Mercedes-Benz that he was taking home that weekend. So that was pretty cool. Uh, the sign flag from him related to an interview. And again, just something I've had sitting around waiting to do something with for five years and never did anything with it. Got a nice little frame. This is just cardboard in the back. It doesn't have to look fancy. You can put a backing on it if you want, but just something you can slide in there, close it up, boom, you got a nice looking setup here. Uh, these two are two of the goats. So a signed picture from Tiger Woods. I've never pursued autographs, not an autograph guy. Uh, that's just not what I think about. I guess that's kind of how I try to separate you know, being in, in golf and reporting on it from you know, actually being a fan of the sport and a player of the sport. But a couple of years ago, the folks at Bridgestone sent this my way and it was beautiful. It's signed. Uh, Tiger doesn't sign lots and lots of things. So I wanted to have it framed. So again, it's been sitting in a file folder <laughs> down here at this office for a couple of years and I wanted to get a picture frame for it. Just simple, straight frame, easy to do. And then over here, these are actually some stamps that were first day release from the Arnold Palmer stamps that the U.S. Postal Service did this year in 2020. And these were sold at La Trobe. My in-laws are from the town right next to La Trobe. So I just want to have those framed and I think they look beautiful. Okay, a whole lot going on here in this corner. This is kind of the busiest corner of everything uh, that we did in the office. So these are three photos from programs I've played in over the years. Two on the Symmetra Tour, one on PGA Tour Champions. I've also played in the Pro-Am on the PGA Tour and the Puerto Rico Open. Uh, but I don't have a photo from that day, at least that I found anywhere. So this is uh, Pro-Am, the first Pro-Am I ever played in the Symmetra Tour with Elizabeth Zogel, who's now on the LPGA Tour. Played 
with her at the Donald Ross course at Prince Lake Resort in Indiana. I'm wearing that shirt here today. And then this one was with Leona McGuire, who's one of the all-time great collegiate players from Ireland, now in the LPGA as well. Ironically or interestingly enough, both the players who played with in those pro-ams went on from the Symmetra Tour to the LPGA Tour the next year. And then right here, this is the first program I ever played in back in 2011. This is at uh, uh, in Mississippi. I was in the Biloxi area for a media trip, and part of the draw was they hooked us up with the Champions Tour Pro Am. Uh, it's now called the Rapid Scan Systems Classic, um, but this is related to uh, that. So we played with Mark Weeby that day, one of the coolest guys I've ever met anywhere, uh, any place in golf. Had a great time. We almost won our portion of the pro am. Made an eagle on a par four, nearly in the dark. A great memory. But this photo's been sitting in my drawer for almost nine years and just waiting to do something with it. So simple frames, uh, not really expensive at all. Just want to get the notes that uh, Leona and Elizabeth wrote to us very nicely for participating and then just make sure the picture was part of it. And then here, this is actually something really new. Uh, I love golf stickers. I love stickers and uh, I kind of really like badges and, and those types of things. So just took a simple piece of, um, of matting and went ahead and took a canvas and I'm just putting stickers on them. So stickers for brands that are, or folks that I like and appreciate, whether it's Youth on Course, shout out to Patrick Caning and his R RGV tour, uh, to Fence Up Country Club, to our friends at Sugarloaf Social Club, uh, and we'll collect more over the years, but just a place to kind of put those things instead of them sitting in a pile. And then over here, this is really my kind of favorite part of, of everything that we're doing, this next little bit. This is a photograph of the King Par 3, the, the largest green in North America at Sweetens Cove in South Pittsburgh, Tennessee. Our, my friend and colleague Brian Orr took this picture and we distributed this picture to everybody who participated in our first ever event uh, a couple years ago now at, uh, at Sweetens Cove. And it's an awkward size photograph, but fit a perfect frame. It worked out great. Uh, it looks lovely. Over here, this has kind of got a little bit messed up, but the intent here was a cool shadow box to put some of the green uh, ball markers that I've collected over the years from some of my favorite places that I've played. So in this box is Riviera, Pinehurst Number 4, Sweetens Cove, Wing Golf Club, a number of really cool places I've been fortunate to experience over the years, and that was what I collected from there. I'm not a, a huge collector of everything, so I wanted to make sure I, I had something, and that's a really cool way of getting those things to be displayed. And then this is my family. This is a, a canvas print from the first time we ever played golf together this summer. One of the uh, one of the cool things about the pandemic, being able to play golf with my family. Then over here, some stuff from events I've played in or places I've been in recent memory. So uh, there's a stat back here for the Green Bay Packers, my favorite NFL team. Don't, ex don't ask me to explain to you why I like the Packers, even though I'm from the, the Baltimore DC area, but that's there. And then some posters from events. Uh, this one is from an event a couple of years ago during the PGA Merchandise Show Week, played at Winter Park 9 in Winter Park, Florida, not too far from the Orange County Convention Center in Orlando where they had the event. Seamus Golf put on this really cool experience where they just had us play a shotgun start in groups with people you didn't know a couple days before the, the convention started. And we just had a lovely time. They gave us this really nice print from it. And again, just sitting in a tube, wanted to hang it. Found a good way to hang it, and it turns out really lovely. Uh, this is from the first time I played in the Donald Ross Classic in the Pro-Am a couple of years ago back at French Lick Resort. I played with Elizabeth Zogel. They gave us this really cool plaque. It's been sitting actually where the, the sticker canvas is, but I wanted to hang that up on the wall and have it separate from the uh, the locker that I get sent many years ago from TaylorMade back in the days when they were sending media amazing things when they were getting us uh, information on equipment releases. These are, this is old and this is new. This is a post poster, it's going to be kind of hard to see because of the coloring, but it's a poster from the Solstice. Again, at Tobacco Road, went there this summer, uh, played with Mitch Lawrence and, and Ben Green from Twitter, and we played in a, an event that basically ran the whole day. We played 54 holes uh, on the same golf course at Tobacco Road, a couple different formats each day, but dawn to dusk basically, and had a tremendous time and fortunately won the uh, print poster from the day in one of the raffles. So that was a reason why I knew I was gonna hang that up before I kind of got inspired to do all of this. And this down here is one of 
the coolest things I think I have in golf that I've never put on a club. This is a cork grip from a company that really doesn't exist anymore called Salty Grips out of Richmond, Virginia. And that has my name, Ryan, engraved on it. And I had this as a putter grip made. I had a bunch made for my family trip every year in Orlando and gave one out to everybody with their name on it. And I never wound up putting it on a club, but I think it's beautiful and it deserved to be showed off and not sit in my uh, little locker with all my pens and pencils and golf stuff that maybe I'm not using lately. So I've got a shadow box for it. It fits perfectly. Put it right in there. It holds up lovely. I love it. The last little bit here, last three things on our little journey is uh, a couple of media notes, a couple of credential request notes from really early on in my life. Before I ever got into writing about golf professionally, I hosted a podcast called The 19th Hole Golf Show. Still do it on occasion, but back then I was well, 16 years ago, so that would have put me at 21, young and foolish, thinking I can definitely get a credential with the Masters. And so I applied for a credential to the Masters, and Glenn Greenspan, who was the Director of Communications at the time, and later went on to be Tiger Woods' communications guy up until this year, very politely wrote me a note and told me, there's no way you're getting in. <laughs> and eventually I did cover the Masters in 2011 with NBC Sports, but I have not been back since, and hopefully someday I'll be able to go back again. And then this was my first time I ever asked the RNA through the Open Championship for credentials. They actually said yes in 2004, same year. I was gonna go when I got out of college, undergraduate school to go to the Open Championship that year, which was supposed to be a Troon. I wound up not going for a variety of reasons, but I've always held on to these two letters. One, to tell me that there's always some place you can go next, and to remember the people who were willing to give me the time of day when I definitely did not deserve it. And then the last thing here is a just a really cool picture of Jackie Gleason playing golf with Arnold Palmer. I don't have a date for this. This was uh, from one of my family members who said, hey, we, I had a family member pass away. I have this really cool golf picture. Do you want it? Yep, and that fits perfectly right over uh, the sitting area here. So, so thanks for taking a tour of my office with me. I'm really happy to show all some of this stuff to you. Again, everything that we put together here uh, was done for less than $200. I think it was exactly $188 at Michael's for all the frames, everything that need to be hung up. There's still some more things I wanna hang up that aren't gonna be framed, but uh, there'll be cool ideas that come along down the line. But you can do all this stuff, all these cool things that you can collect in this game is great memories and memorabilia from the places you've been, the people you've played with, the things you've experienced. Take pride in them, keep them, uh, show them off proudly if you have the space to be able to do that. Fortunately, we do, and now you know why I went from having a completely bland and boring office with no decoration in it to a lot of decoration because all of these things really mean something to me and uh, what I've experienced in the sport. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy. And we'll talk to you soon.